Hi, Tomas O'Leary here of Moss Art. Thanks for joining us again today. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and in order not to miss any future videos, hit the bell button too. Now today, this is a very important video for those of you who are involved in building design and we're going to talk about form factor. Now form factor is basically to do with how much exposed surface area there is in your building and, the, and that has implications for the levels of insulation that you're going to need, the levels of air tightness and thermal bridging that you're going to need and also on the cost of the project as well. So I think you'll find this very interesting. Um, my wife and I had three daughters and so there's a lot of ladies in my house so I was thinking a shoebox would be, would be a very good way to illustrate this. So if you live in a single family dwelling like I do it's really not optimal from an energy efficiency point of view because you have six exposed heat losing surfaces don't you? You've got four walls and you've got a roof and a floor so it's really f far from ideal so I do, although I live in a passive house um, ideally I would have built a semi-detached house because with a semi-detached house now we've reduced the heat losing surfaces from six to five okay you can see that because one of the walls is now a party wall it's an internal wall so if you're seeing where this line of argument is going we can see now if we built a terrace of houses like I've got here now the mid terrace um, house has actually four heat losing surfaces so we've gone from six to four so the form factor if you like is getting better again and again how can we improve that even further if we start to go up a few floors let's say if we start to build an apartment building you can see now uh, how the form factor is improving uh, all the time let's say we go four five six seven stories whatever it is you can uh, what i want you to appreciate there this the mid apartment here this one down here now only has one exposed uh, wall now. Uh, it's got no floor, it's got no uh, ceiling, and it's only got one exposed wall. So I think that's, it's very clear that that's a more optimal uh, situation with regards to form factor. Ideally, your form factor would be less than 0 0.7. What do we mean by that? If we take the total exposed surface area of your project, whether it's a single family house or a terrace, or an apartment block and you divide that by the interior volume and um, you'll get a number won't you so surface area divided by volume ideally your number would be less than 0 0.7 that's the idealized form factor all right so think about the next time you're involved in a project if you the lower the form factor the less insulation you're going to need um, and it's going to be easier in terms of thermal bridge detailing air tightness detailing and all of that so as a designer, make sure that you're very conscious of that the next time you go to design a high performance building.